Hi friends, welcome back. So sushi is one of my favorite things, right? Today we are combining how to make sushi rice, which is one thing that I didn't do in my other rice uh, sushi roll video. So we are going to make rice, but not one, but two different ones. Because one, we're going to use my usual favorite sushi vinegar, which is the Miskan Sushi Su. Um, this is the one that my mom loves and I love because that's what I've grown up with and we think that's the best one. But one of my friends in actually gave me one of these. It's like a little packet, instant sushi seasoning. It's called Sushinoko and it's more like a powder. And so she liked it because it wasn't as sticky for the rice and it made it easier for her to use. And another friend had recommended it to her. So I've never actually used this. And so I would like to try it. And she gave me a packet, so I'm happy to give it a whirl. And what is it without a taste off, right? So we're doing both and we are going to try and see which one we like better. So let's do it. I've already made my rice, but to make your rice, you want the sticky Japanese rice. Uh, it is stickier than the other rices you may have from other Asian um, countries like the uh, fried rice for Chinese or Thai rice is different. So you want that sticky grain rice. And I also like to put one of these kombu. It's like a seaweed uh, piece. There's different kinds of seaweeds out there. So this is called kombu. Um, we like to put one of these in when we're cooking the rice so that it gives it a little extra umami flavor, uh, but it makes it better. Or so my mom has told me, and that's what I believe. And I do think it makes it taste better. So um, that is what we do. But I have my rice cooked in my rice cooker. So I'm just going to put some into this big thing that I have prepared. We need space because we're going to put the vinegar in. And you also need a fan because you want to fan it down while it's cooling, while you have the seasonings on there. I don't know that it's necessary, but again, this is what I have done all my life, what I've seen all my life. Uh, so that is what I'm going to do. If you have a hand fan, that is totally fine, but it gives you a bit of a workout. Um, if you have one of the uh, plug-in ones, that makes it a lot easier. It just fans while you work. So um, whatever you have, just use whatever you have. No need to go out to get anything. And again, if you don't have anything, I think that's okay too. We've done that before. I think it's just all for appearance purposes, I believe, um, because then it has a little more shine. Um, there might be a little bit more science. Maybe I'll look into it a little bit more. But uh, honestly, if you don't have a fan, it is not the end of the world. Okay. And so I actually did uh, a little mixture of brown and white rice. So I have five cups total because uh, there are six of us that are eating tonight. My parents are here. And so uh, there are a lot of mouths to feed and everybody loves sushi. And so I did five cups, which is the max for my rice cooker. And I did four cups white rice, one cup brown rice because we did more brown rice before and it was a little grainy, but I like to have a little more nutrition than pure white rice. So this is the compromise I have come to. So I'll put most of it over there and I am going to put um, maybe two scoops worth over here. And I'm going to try, let's see, let's do the vinegar over here. And again, I'm sorry, I am just not very precise, but I'm gonna put all of that. I start by just kind of spraying out. Um, I'm not sure if spraying, that's the right word, but I do this and then you want to slice in the rice and I just made rice fly everywhere. But it's kind of one of those, like, can you tap your head and rub your belly things because you need a fan and scoop and slice. So you're doing all sorts of stuff and then I start slicing. But uh, anyway, you wanna do both. If you have a little helper, that might work better. Someone fans while someone does this scooping and slicing thing, but you want it to cool down. You want the vinegar to be evenly distributed. So you want just to kind of cool it down as you go. 
and have it absorb fairly evenly. And then honestly, it's just a taste as you go thing. Um, I'm sure people have more precise measurements, but I like to just season it as I go because everybody likes to season differently. And I don't like it super, super vinegary, but if there's no taste of vinegar um, or of the sushi seasoning, then that's not very good either. Um, I love that slightly vinegary rice uh, with my raw fish. So that is what we're going with. Okay. And once you have it a little mixed around, All right, once you have it a little mixed around, give it a little taste. Good, I like it. Not too vinegary. And here we go, I'm just gonna cool it off a little bit more. Switch hands if you need to. Get a little bit of an arm workout. All right, here we go. I'm just gonna do that one more time. Get all the different sides. And I wanna be careful not to smush it because smushed rice is also not good. But here we go. You can still kind of see it steaming, but I'll cool it down a little more as I go. Now let's try the other one. So for the other one, it says to every four cups, you use this whole packet. I am not using the whole packet because more it's more like four cups one cup so let's do just about a quarter of this packet Ooh, i don't know if you saw that but there was some powder poof going on Whew. <laughs> it smells like vinegar and if you've ever smelled vinegar Oh, with your nose, um, do not go up close to that because ooh, that just stung my nose. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to sprinkle. And as you can see, it just looks like white powder. Okay. Again, I'm just going as I as I taste. So I'm going to take this and I am just going to mix it in. And it's absorbing pretty well. It's melt, I don't know if melting is the right word, but uh, the powder, it's not like you can see it still. All right, I think I have it pretty well mixed. Let's give this one a try now also. It's a little sweeter than I expected, but good. It does taste good. Let me compare it to. Yeah, I still think I like that one the better. Yeah, this one is sweeter. They're both good. They're both good, but I've never really had an issue with it being too sticky. So if you have had a too sticky issue, maybe this one works better. Um, yeah, they're both good. They're both good. Uh, this one has less stuff, but the last ingredient is MSG. Um, I didn't know that, but maybe that's why it tastes so good to be honest. Um, but if you have an MSG issue, then this might not be for you, even though I, I really love this sushi vinegar. I've tried making sushi vinegar at home and it wasn't the same, um, probably, honestly, because of that MSG. But let's look at this one. I still have a rice piece. Sugar, salt, powdered vinegar, sour agent, monosodium fumarate. So there are a few things in here as well. Is fumarate the same as glutamate? 
I'm not sure, but it sure sounds like MSG-ish. So I don't know what to say. They both seem to have some sort of MSG-ish thing, but either way, this is how you make rice. This is the base of your, your pokes, your sushi rolls, your nigiris, your everything delicious sushi. Other than sashimi, if you eat sashimi just as is, you don't need rice, but sushi rice is delicious and I love it. So I hope you try it at home. Let me know if you do. I'd love to hear comments and we'll see you next time.